What's up everybody? Welcome back to Malabara Tour where safety is number one priority. As you know, fall is coming, bonfire season is around the corner, it's getting cooler and cooler at night time. Also, it's perfect time to hike around this time because all the leaves change, a lot of tourists coming out. So I want to put to the test the five uh, camping chairs and they are very very unique and different. Let's check out these inventions. For the first gadget I got this one at REI, 100 bucks. Yep, that's how much I pay for it plus tax of course, you know. Don't forget, don't want to forget that 7%. So this is uh, the world lightest camping chair. This is under a pound I'm pretty sure. This is just one pound, that's it. So if you're going hiking and you need to hike with a lot of gear, this is, could be very useful. Whoa, check this out. So everything stays together, attached, just folds like a tent almost. Boom, wow, that's actually really easy to set it up. But what about actual chair? Okay, looks like this is the legs. And on the top right here, you put this seat. I'm 228 pounds, so we're gonna do a little durability test. This is actually perfect, not for camping, even just coming out and stopping at overlooks on the parkway or going to the park because it's such a lightweight and small. Okay, let's sit down on it. Also, you gotta remember, I'm 228 pounds and I'm 6'8". I'm very, very tall. If I'm comfortable in this thing and you're much shorter than I am, then you're definitely going to be comfortable. Okay, there goes nothing, okay? Uneven ground, wow. A little bit wobbly as you can see, but you know what, if you sit comfortably, you're not gonna move around a lot. Uh, you're probably gonna be sitting on the grass most of the time, not a porch or anything like that. And I'll tell you what, for just a pound chair, this is pretty comfortable. You can lay back and sit down like that. It's again, a little bit wobbly, I don't know if it's gonna last a long time for me but in case you want to cook marshmallows you can sit up like this and cook marshmallows over the fire like that also pretty comfortable but again you gotta remember this is just a pound so what do you expect it has to be small and very very portable this is why i give this a chair a thumbs up i can't believe this is actually comfortable when i was buying it i thought that chair was for a child but as you can see, it can hold me up pretty comfortably too. So now, let's see how fast we can break it up. Boom, boom. And just pull all this stuff together. I mean, this is amazing. I cannot complain about that. Then you can even put this and wrap it around, whatever. Will it fit back in the holder super easily? And you know what? Huge plus. This is like a net material. So if it gets wet or moist, it's not going to hold up all that mildew inside of it because it will dry out really quickly. So amazing, very, very unique gadget. The only problem is quite expensive, 400 bucks. For the next gadget, I got here folding rocking chair. Easy to carry, there's a strap somewhere right here, so you can grab it, carry it around, no problem. It's not so much hiking, but I don't know, maybe watch a football game, concerts, whatever. There's also a strap right here you can hold. There's a rocking suspension. Very easy to unfold it, put it together. Now let me sit on it and see how comfortable that is. Wow, very nice. As you can see, it suspends here, but then it stops, so I'm not going to flip over unless I'm hitting on a big hill. And same thing here. You see, it will flip over a little bit because I'm sitting on a little bit of uneven ground. There you go. This is nice. I kind of feel like it's best to set this chair downhill because I can sit a bit more comfortable this way and kind of just pull it forward I don't like sitting state like that but if you need to cook over the fire you can pull it up forward if you need to relax you can completely go backwards 
or you can even rock which is also very comfortable but again as you can see this chair is square this awkward handle side here let's see if I have something better also similar design rocking folding chair for the camping and stuff like that but a little bit different let's see if it's going to be more comfortable as you can see it folds a lot more compared to this one if you're gonna bend this back the only folding it goes like that so as you can see pretty uncomfortable if you're bringing a lot of gear so this one is a competitor but it is same same brand but right here so it unfolds like original folding chairs very easily but let me show you you see the seat is very wide and comfortable and also the design at right here the steps are much different uh, do i have to unfold it no it's ready to go whoa you know what even down here right here it seems like it's rocks way more look at that and i can really sit down and relax let me put it downhill look at that i feel like i almost laying not even sitting but obviously you can also rock too especially if you get a flat spot check this out i don't really care about rocking i think the most coolest part about this thing is you can adjust anytime and sit comfortably remember i'm a really big guy so if i try to sit and rest my neck and my head on this chair it works very nice so i can even sit like that and you now talk to people a bit too small for me but still probably the most comfortable position is this and i can recline a little bit so to me it's not just a rocking option i like that it reclines i can really lay back sit comfortably enjoy myself compared to the other one it's more like a square chair so it does not hug my back really nicely like almost a mini hammock and also this right here very comfortable to put my hands on compared to those metal pieces just too much square corners that just does not work that comfortable let's see very easy to fold this is insane put it in the folder much much smaller compared to the other rocking chair so i would go with that one for sure but we're not done yet i have more pretty epic holder whoops oh looks like i have to assemble it first a little bit and assemble it right here to the side okay this is just like first one but much much more durable and bigger so probably will be much more comfortable look at that similar frame doesn't it remind you of it oh wow this setup is a bit different it's almost like a hammock so you just put it in and push it in there's a second one you put it in lock it in to take it off press it take it off so really easy to put it on and take it off all right this is the weirdest chair i've ever seen kind of sideways hammock okay let's start out does not fold that easily compared to the other ones but maybe it's worth it to be very comfortable you see it's more like a bed put it up like this i hopefully set it up correctly to where it's not gonna fall on me so as you can see this one is more like a swing chair again this is pretty comfortable less so much as a chair because uh it's like almost wanna slide down so i can lay on it again i'm super tall so if i slide it down like this and lay on it oops what's happening here okay there you go as you can see i'm almost laying this is like a very lazy couch chair which is more comfortable than sitting on a random chair i like it halfway hammock in a way this stuff is moving around but as you can see 230 pounds almost hold me up no problem okay let's start out on the downhill right here 
Oh, I think it's false to where like you can use it as a chair like that. And if you want to unfold this, you can really sit it like on a couch. You know what? Downhill, you see how this land is this way. It's actually almost a little bit more comfortable to sit when your chair is facing uphill because of center of gravity is different, I guess, you know. But I'm sure it's just gonna be very good whenever it's flat too. But yeah, as you can see, super, super comfortable, very unique chair. Now, let's put it together, see how fast it's going to take. Just push this, fold it quickly, unfold this. Just like first one, except much bigger. That's what I do not like, so it's not easy to put it back together. So set up and break down is not so much fun because look, now it does not fit how it's supposed to. Very unique chair, very fun to use, but unlike first one, it was easy to set up and break it down. This one, as you can see, I had a little bit of a problem. Unless you don't care, wrestling with it, putting it away still works for the next gadget i got here another lunger dm chair this is supposed to be super comfortable how much you pay on it 145 dollars this one so they all about between 100 and 150 dollars i think so holder Whoa. so same technology you see how you just put these things together and it should lock in pretty easily. Definitely takes a lot longer to unfold everything and put together compared to those other ones that doesn't have to fold like this. But let's see, spin it around this way. I'm kind of confused now what's happening. Okay, that's gotta be. Okay, once you figure it out, I guess it's not that difficult. And just like the first one, Boom. Will it be worth it wrestling with this for the comfort? That is the question. This is, does not rock, but as you can see, it looks like a couch. And it's really, really big. Comes with a cup holder. Most of them do anyway. So that's why I'm not even talking about it. So as you can see, it's a really big chair right here. There's some holes in case there's rain on it. So just like a first design, similar, but much, much bigger. Oh yeah. This is downhill sitting, very comfortable. I like it, but it's kind of center gravity pushing me forward. So you don't want to sit like that. With this kind of chair, I kind of feel uncomfortable. If you have to sit, Make sure you kind of sit in this way. So that way you can really relax and not worry about this whole gravity pushing you down. Now it's like really pushing you back where it's supposed to. So that's a minus about this kind of chairs. Make sure you don't sit downhill. Those uh, rockers almost don't matter because you can just push your back and it will be good. But on a flat, obviously, they're going to be very comfortable. I really like the padding over here, padding right here. So sit by the bonfire, enjoy the view wherever you're going to go hiking for as long as you want to. This is nice. Okay. Hard to get up from this one, so make sure you will be able to get up, no problem. Time to collapse it all. No problem, this one don't have any sticks or anything, so it'll be really easy to fold together. But first, let's try out this stuff. I think I gotta start with this one, because you wanna push them under like that. Yep. Fold in, go under, and push in right here. And then just break away all these legs. Uh, got to wrestle with it. Okay, one more right here. 
And then one more right here. What's happening here? Oh, does this break away? It should. Okay, there you go. This is what I'm saying, not the most comfortable thing to do whenever you have to break up all of them. Sometimes taking it out is very simple, but to put it back together is very difficult. I mean, this is not as bad as that other one. Boom. There is a holder right here over the shoulder. Perfect. So now I really love this one because it's one of a kind. Just a pound, tiny one unfolds to be big. Also this one because it's pretty comfortable. And this one because it is so small, unfolds really good quickly. And also very comfortable. You can really relax and sit like that. Even the downhill very comfortable compared to the last one. Uphill like that, it just push you down even more, even more comfortable. So yeah guys, camping becoming easier and easier and it's so much fun putting up to the test new gadgets. I really like them a lot. So hopefully you guys learned something today and enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.